My work itself uh, is centered on the male figure, usually male figures that uh, are exploring their own pleasure, um, whether that's uh, on their own or in some kind of group, uh, multiple figures and or some sort of surrealistic or fantastic settings. Uh, it's a variety of, of things. So I want to explore what that pleasure means, how they how they explore it, but also the by vi making it visual, making it visible to other people, hopefully to inspire them to also explore their own pleasure, uh, and not just as like purely as hedonism, although that that's that's a lovely thing, um, but also as a as a, a step towards liberation, because um, you know. Understanding your own pleasure, your own power, I think is a, is a crucial part of, of how you are in the world and how you can be more more of an agent of change if you're more in touch with uh, those forces that really drive you and propel you. Um, some of it's just for my own pleasure. Uh, I think that's, that's the biggest part of it, or maybe not the biggest part of it, but the origin of it. Uh, but wanting to like move it a little bit beyond just my own personal pleasure, something more soul, you know, self-focused or inwardly focused, but bring it more outward, uh, both as just because I think bringing more pleasure and beauty into the world is a good thing. Um, and, you know, exploring the beauty of the human figure in particular is really appealing to me. And, you know, putting that out into the world as a message of hope and joy is really important to me. So it's now going to be oil paints, um, going, you know, very traditional old school. Uh, it's something I started doing during the pandemic, during lockdown, had some extra time uh, and said, you know, why not? Let's let's try it. You know, I've always been a little bit afraid, a little bit intimidated by some of you know, the tradition and the complication and, you know, toxic flammable materials in my small studio apartment. <laughs> New York City, <laughs> you know, practical challenges, uh, but also just something about it, though, once I once I started was just amazing because it, it, it really is just so like slow and luxurious and you can do so many different things with it and the colors. Like I, I was just getting like these these vibrant colors that I'd never gotten before. Um, mixing with different pigments and you know layering and things like that and so it just became like oh wow so that that that's that I got I got hooked and so about going mm, on three or four years now and I'm, so I, I think this might be like the, the direction I go for a long time there'll always be other stuff it's fun to experiment and shake it up a little bit I think I'm probably gonna keep coming back to oil because that is there's like there's so much there the, the, both the history and just the complexity of the material itself that I think there is a lifetime uh, of, of pleasure to find in it. A uh, little bit of nervousness about you know, the way people will respond, uh, being... And yeah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, as far as like the traditional art world, I'm sort of very careful, like, you know, galleries and things like that. However, there are friends, you know, working with you know, other artists here in New York, developed friendships over the years, and we've managed to put together like specifically queer and erotic focused art events. And I think those have been, you know, where I, I love them, so I don't have to feel cautious. I can just, you know, put it all out there. Um, but as far as like, tiptoeing around into the, the art world and, you know, art fairs and different magazines and online exhibitions and prizes and, you know, that sort of stuff. That's where I've been always like, I don't know, like, is this okay? Are they gonna, you know, some of it's a fear of like actual, I don't know what to say, like, I'm not violence, uh, thankfully. I, I don't live in a place where that would happen, although that there are plenty of places where that could happen. Um, but more just like rejection and or mockery. Uh, I think the, there is that, the fear of both. There's the fear of, you know, actual direct conflict and confrontation of like being told them oh, my art is wrong or bad or, or shameful or corrupting the youth or, or whatever. But then there's also a, a kind of like 
mockery that might happen, like, you know, people sort of giggling and walking by and, you know, being childish and immature and, you know, not dealing with nudity in a, in a you know, in a mature and adult fashion. Um, I want it to be out in the world making people happy. Um, whether that's in their own spaces or in something more public, um, that would be that would be awesome. So yeah, it's like bringing pleasure and beauty into the world and making people happy. Uh, if I can make a living at it, that would be awesome. Uh, also, <laughs> because you know it seems like you know keeping a roof over my head and food on the table is important. Uh, so as long as you know the art can also do that and bring joy into the world and help, like be a, like some kind of force for liberation beyond just oh that's pretty and then you walk on by but more something that inspires a little bit more deeper contemplation than just oh he's cute yeah it's uh more of yeah you know, something, something a little bit more of like a step on the path towards liberation oh. um there's my website, which is just edwardpicklin.com. Uh, I also do try and keep his, you know, some stuff going on Instagram. It's 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 a, it's a tricky tricky one. Uh, the handle is papertiger74. Um, it's tricky because they've lately the machines there have started flagging me for their recommendation issues. So it's like there's the community standards, which are what they will and will not allow, and I'm fine there. But then there's the second level of like, oh, well, we're just going to shadow ban you. We're going to like essentially turn your account private because only your followers can see it because there's too many naked men. Uh, you know, I was like, well, so I have to like, what? What do I do? So, so that's always a, that's always one thing. Um, I also, which is what has turned me more to the website where I do try to blog as much as I can uh, and as well as a weekly email. So kind of going old school with it, but you know, the, there's a lot more freedom, uh, a lot more flexibility to tell stories and show pictures the way I want to, and a lot less interference. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, you know, check out the art on the website. Uh, there's a works for sale, also commissions uh, you know, available for, for people that want to commission, you know, erotic imagery of their own. Uh, based on their photos. So it is about celebrating your own beauty, uh, whether that's for yourself or as a gift for someone else. I think that can be a, a truly precious and beautiful thing. Own your pleasure, figure out what, what you love, what you want, and hopefully find the strength to actually ask for it. Um, that's, that's really, that can be hard. It's, it can be vulnerable. Uh, and a lot of people don't do it. They either toe the line or try to please someone else or convince themselves that they should like what's acceptable, what's supposed to, what you're supposed to like, not what truly is your passion and what, what, what drives you and what, what gets you up in the morning. <laughs>